Hi guys, and welcome to this year's Vlogmas. I'm standing by my Christmas tree, specifically for Vlogmas. Um, you know, you can't start a Vlogmas, I don't think, if you're not by anything Christmassy. So, we're standing here, and we're about to start. I'm gonna go in the bathroom and kind of just like talk to you guys about Vlogmas. And while well, waxing my eyebrows because they desperately need to be waxed. Do it at home and I want to show you and start vlogmas like that. You know, holidays, all that kind of crap that you need to do to prepare yourself um, for seeing people very often this season. So, let's start there. Um, I, like I said, I'm holding my very heavy tripod with my camera on it just for this view. Um, maybe I'll show you my Christmas tree to start with and then we'll move in there. Let me turn it around and start showing you. So this is our tree so far right now, and that's our tree tapper. We got the tree from the at-home store, and then we got most of the decorations and like the garland at Target and stuff, and the tree skirt. And then over here we have, you know, cute little winter wonderland and a, you know, winter gnome, I guess. Just with that. So that's kind of our Christmas setup for right now. Like I said, why would we have Vlogmas without showing you that first? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, so I'm going into the darkness. I need to start turning lights on. But we're gonna go into my bathroom and start like working on this face. Um, so yeah, let me pause it and I'll come back to you when I get the setup. I have to make sure that my hair is not crusty because the last video that I posted, I was cringing the entire time because my hair was so gross. I had my extension, my tape and extensions in that I did by myself which I thought looked fine until I looked back at footage of when they moved down and it just messed with my highlights, made it look gross and nasty and for some reason every time I film a video I'm on second day hair so yeah, this was from yesterday when I had it all curled for whatever we did yesterday. Um, but at least it looks a little bit better than it did prior in the video prior which I almost didn't post because of that. Anyway, because that just freaking, I don't know what just happened. Anywho, so today I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. If you can, if you can tell my eyebrows are grossly whatever. After I did the eyebrow, did the eyebrow perm video, they have been sticking up ever since. So yes, it works. <laughs> but however, with that being said, it doesn't look the best on my eyebrows in my opinion, and it like makes them really stiff. It literally feels like it like put hairspray into my eyebrows and like they're stuck. Anyway, so we're gonna brush through them and. I have this um, kit that I use, it's the Bliss um, Poetic Waxing Kit because, you know, we're all poets here. And first we have, what is this? Oh, the pre and post waxing oil. Um, and then it just comes in like this little cup that you microwave. It's very easy to use, pretty dumb proof. Oh no. Um, I'm just gonna like go through. Um, and this is a hard waxing kit, so it's a lot easier, a lot less messy to use. You don't have to use wax strips or anything. You just take the wax, put it on, let it dry, peel it off, and then it's done. So, we're gonna go heat that up. I'll bring you with me and kind of show you how I do that, I guess. You know what, you really, you really are stuck on this friggin' tripod because I don't wanna take it off. Oh, I guess I could take you off the tripod. Oh, it has the directions on here, of course. 30 second intervals, five to six intervals it takes. So, so I'm gonna just, here, I'll turn it. I'm gonna put it in our microwave and put it on for 30 seconds. Still hard as rock. I don't want it to dry. So we're back in the bathroom, and this is what it looks like right now. Just to show you, that's what it looks like. I don't want to dip it in because I don't want to get that spatula all messed up. So, I'm gonna put you back up here, and we're gonna work fast because I'm scared that it's going to, um, 
I'm scared that it's going to dry or whatever. It took a couple minutes to do, not bad. I think I'm gonna use the other end that's clean. All right, I'm gonna do that so I don't stare at myself the whole time. Um, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a little bit on here and I'm just going to here, let me make sure that you can see me. I don't want to take off too much of my eyebrow. Oh, so like that. And then we'll take a little bit more and do the middle of my eyebrow because, you know, we get that little unibrow sometimes and and it doesn't work and, it, and it, this really helps my makeup go on a lot so there, if my hair doesn't get caught in it that would be nice Ooh, ooh, i don't like that that got all over my hair oh and took out some of my hair that's nice very nice love that oh this is already oh i didn't even put the preach oil on oopsies Ooh, I might get a problem. Ow. Okay. Ow. Oh, okay. Ew. I think I got a big one. Kind of a big one, eh? Can you see this? I'll show you after. I'll show you like what they look like after. Kind of grubby. Oh my god, that took out so much. Like not like, like in a good way. Like, who knows I even have that much? Ew, gross peach fuzz on there. Let's do this one. Ow. Makes that sound consistently, but it does. So that's that. We're gonna leave those like that, I think. I don't take off too much, especially because they're all weird is it just be like that sometimes you know oh this stuff really doesn't sound though not that it should but it doesn't you know oh, I to it. dang it I'll do that after but this is my look um, while this dries, I wanted to say that I'm excited for vlogmas, so maybe I shouldn't talk with this on. Maybe I should do that when I'm doing the face mask part. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm really excited for vlogmas. I think it's going to challenge me to actually post more. Therefore, have more fun with it and, like, force myself to take time to do it. Um, because I'm going to try to commit myself, despite all of my efforts to probably make excuses. <laughs> but... Yeah, this probably looks a little weird to be talking like this, but like that. It's almost like a pore strip. Ugh, this is so messy. I hate it. I hate getting sticky stuff on my hands. Is that my only one? I feel like I am. I hate getting my hands wet and having like sticky stuff or I hate like, I don't know, I just hate being wet. I don't know. But, but yeah, so. Anyway, about Vlogmas, I think this might be good. Ow. Ow, that freaking hurt, bro. Ew. You can't believe how much freaking hair I have when I do that. Are you serious? It's like gnarly almost. Oh god. I'm gonna do the middle part because I don't know if that one's already. Took off a lot of the peach fuzz though. But yeah, I am sorry my hair's so crusty in all of my videos too. Like not only like does it look dirty in a lot of them, even when it's like not dirty dirty, but I have a severe like like dry scalp, so I get flakes, very gross, I know, flakes all over. 
and it, when I use dry shampoo, it just inflames it even more. It's almost, I don't know if it's eczema or psoriasis or anything like that, but it's very intense around here. If you can see like I have red around there, it's like, it's like inflamed scalp. Um, scalp, scalp, I don't know. But yeah, so that explains that and it's really gross. And I know that, so I'm sorry, but I appreciate if you can look past it. Because uh, I try to. It's very hard. Ew. I have to get off my fucking lip. That hurts. Ow, this part hurts. Get it off. Oh, God. Okay, I like. Half. Okay, I like have to show you these. Look at that. Can you see all of the hair? Like that is what comes off. Ew! Is that not intense? This kind of moisturizes it though, honestly. Get all of the gross blue dots off. I think I'm pretty much. And then they look a little bit better. My eyebrows. When they're done, they look better. I just needed like a bit. A bit more cleaned up, if you know what I mean. I don't know why I just did that accent, but, <laughs> um, yeah. So, now that that's all done, I want to do a face mask. Um, I want to put my hair up for it. And I tried the, um, an iced creme brulee latte from Tim Hortons today. I don't know, it's just not it in my opinion. So I was kind of like, mm, taken back by it, but. It's like, it's just, if you can tell by the color, how it tastes, you're my kind of person. But, um, I'm just cleaning it up, sorry. Um, I mean, what was I saying? Oh, I want to go do a face mask. So let me go get that really quick. Okay. I got them. Oh, oh my god, I was like, wait. So I have, I'm going to do a lip mask with it, which I use just as a chapstick set, so like, whatever. But anyway, I have Basha Charcoal Pore Pudding. Intensive wash off treatment. Um, scoop on the face and blend together to distribute thin layer target area. Hmm. If you can see, my skin is like not at its worst, but not at its best. Or I have this creamy calamine mud mask. Enriched with rose water, per ideal, ideal for imperfect skin. What do I use? Professionals, which is just sold at Target, um, I think. An Ulta, maybe. But yeah, let's just use this one, shall we? I'm not like a huge fan of mud masks, honestly, just because, just because I hate washing them off. I hate using like a towel to wash them off and then the towel has all the mud mask on it. I don't know. Not my thing, but. Whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna put this on. Well, I've been putting it on. I'm, I really don't know what I'm saying sometimes. Um, I get a lot of pimples, period. But also, I get a lot of pimples like in this area, if you can see my neck. Um, happens a lot. Smells good. It smells rosy. Hey, muddy. Um, but anyway, so I'm excited to do vlogmas. I'm going to try to upload as many times a week as I can. I'm going to aim for three or four times a week and kind of just either lump vlogs together of different days if they're not long enough because I work from home and they kind of do the same thing every day. Um, but it might be interesting, I think, to see because it's pretty different, I think, than a lot of people's jobs um so I'm gonna do that lump them together or not um and just do like kind of random videos like this mixed in and just try to upload as many times as I can a week this looks great um but yeah so if you're excited for that I hope you are and we'll stick around subscribe if you'd like so that you can get notified when I upload them throughout the month um, and also like this video while you're at it because help a girl out. She's struggling over here. Um, 
<laughs> this is like really potent and opaque. Oops. Like I said, I hate getting things on my fingers. So. I'm kind of choppy, but I just wanted to get this done, get this up to introduce Vlogmas and introduce me pampering myself for this month because it's going to be a long month. Crusty. And I'm ready to take it off. So, my timer went off a couple minutes ago. I have my pink towel. I'm gonna ruin it. Gotta get some. I'm gonna put some warm water on it. And then just start taking it off. Ugh. I literally don't know why I don't like this. This is how you're supposed to even take them off. Take it off. Let me know. Look and feel pretty plump and even. Now I'm gonna put on my um my lip Laneige lip sleeping mask. So these are the three that I use every day. I keep it pretty simple. You know the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. Nope, that's not why I do it. But uh, um, these are three products that work for me and with very dry, flaky, as you can tell, skin. I need something that will suck in moisture and what works, I use. I have very sensitive skin as well, so I try not to try that many new things, um, too often at least. So first I just have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. It's for extra dry skin. It's um, hyaluronic acid, which it's just like my lifesaver. I think hyaluronic acid is the best thing for my skin. Uh, and I want to get the whole line of this, honestly, because it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. That's all I have to say. Oh, that's part of my... And yeah, I put a lot on because... Because I have very... I'm like, I'm not even being dry. It's the driest skin that I've ever felt. I don't know. It's not like brush that doesn't mean much because I don't know how many people's faces I felt. But, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I try not to get it too much in my eye area because I was watching one video and she said she doesn't put this lady. This girl put, said she didn't doesn't put any of her she doesn't put any of her skin products under her eyes except for the ones that are meant for under her eyes and I was like I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, so I have the um, Burt's Bees eye cream with royal jelly. Um, it's skin nourishment one, the skin nourishment one. Um, and honestly, this one just really helps my skin or on my, my under eyes. I usually use this one at night. It's very nourishing. Helps my makeup set the next day when I wear it. And yeah, so I just kind of put it there and I add the rest onto the upper part. And I do a generous amount because, you know, Kylie Jenner says she does like that and just leaves it and goes, which I do sometimes, but sometimes when I'm just like sitting, I'll just pat it in because I have the time. So, yeah, and also if you can tell, I have pretty dry, like that's dry and um, eczema y, but also I have very dark circles. So, anything that helps brighten them, I really enjoy. But um, then I put this, it's like by the brand And. Um, it's rose serum and it's for glowing, I guess. Soothing rose serum. Um, and I just put a little drop into my hand and squish it all around and press it in upwards. And I just feel like it gives an extra bit of, like it says, soothing and glow. And kind of locks everything in because it's a little tackier, so. I feel like it dries faster, which is cool. very nice. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take my socks off because that just messed up. Okay, well, it didn't get on the um, didn't get on the carpet or the the rug, so it's fine. Anyway, so that's my skincare routine. Honestly, I keep it very simple. Wash my face if I have makeup on. I don't if I don't. Use a face mask once every while, once in a while, and it's been helping my skin tremendously. I just had a breakout because of stress. 
home buyer stuff. I've been stressed out. Um, anyway, so that explains those and hormones. Besides that, I usually have cl clearer skin. These are just like small spots. These are pimples. These are all spots. I mean, that's the point. Um, so I'm going to go edit this video so that I can get it up tomorrow and take my time editing. And then I'm going to start filming tomorrow for Vlogmas, and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I'm really excited for my first Vlogmas. I've been wanting to do this for I don't know how many years I've been watching YouTube. At least eight. I don't know. Whenever I would see Zoella doing it and all the OGs, you know what I mean? Like, ugh. So I'm really excited to actually be doing it this year. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is just a really rambly, runny, vlog-like style. I figured it might be fun to watch um, and just fun to film. I just had fun filming and just talking while I do this stuff or else I'm just literally listening to music or not talking. So as I keep talking, I need to shut up and let you go. So as I said before, if you like this video, please subscribe and press the like button if so. Um, and I really appreciate it and let me know if you have a channel that I can check out in the description I'd love to I'm looking for new channels to watch so for vlogmas and I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching